we have quite to talk about in this game. And a lot of it has probably going to be me venting about this scenario and this game. So buckle up, everybody. It is the Florida Panthers going up against the Pittsburgh Penguins in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, and then we go up there, and it's Sergei Bobrovsky still hot. Um, going up against Alex uh, Nadelkovic. I think that's how you say his name. Uh, Nadel, uh, Nadel Shkovich. There we go. So, there's a long one. Oh boy. It's going to be a long one. So, Florida starts off with the faceoff and already a freaking penalty by Florida. It's Verhege holding against Chris Le uh, Leitang. Leitang. Um, Florida will try to kill it off, but unfortunately, we suffer a power play, uh, a power play goal um, assisted by Eric Carlson, his 27th assist of the season, and Brian Russ, his 15th assist of the season. Off the tip in is Jake Gwen, uh, Gwensell, one not, uh, that's the 21st goal of the season, one nothing Pittsburgh. Not a good start. Not a good start. So Barkov would try to wrist shot next. That was saved by Nezhokovic. Um, back, Anton Lundell with the backhand that hit the crossbar. Great. So, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Forcing gets blocked by his own teammate. Sam Bennett with the wrist shot that was saved by uh, Pittsburgh's goalie, Nigel Kovic. Um, Marcus Peterson gets called for holding. Gets, gets called for holding um, against Barkov. Uh, penalty would be on Pittsburgh. Okay, cool. Then, power play for Florida. Um, as Rodriguez tried to tip in, that was safe. But off the rebound, he scores the former Penguin. Uh, that's his eighth goal of the season. Off the backhand, Evan Rodriguez. He was assisted by Albrecht Larson. That's his 15th assist. And Sam Bennett. That's his 12th assist of the season. Uh, Evan Rodriguez doing it against his former team. Pretty nice. So it's, so it's tied. 1-1. One, one. Good stuff there. Uh, Rickard, uh, Raquel gets snatched shot. That was missing to the left. And Rodriguez tries to do it again with the wrist shot that was saved by Nacho Kovac. Um, then there would be some hits, and this is where things were getting getting pretty ugly. It's been pushing and shoving, um, and it's only just the beginning. Sidney Crosby with the wrist shot that was saved by Robrowski, puck goes to the netting, um, and then there would be a hit and pass, and then things got pretty heated. No penalties there, fortunately. Um, Jeff Carter with the wrist shot that was saved by Robrowski. Uh, Brian Russ with the wrist shot that was saved by Brosky as well. Anton Lantel will try to have a tip in that again it hit above the crossbar, so unlucky there. Pierre Oliver Joseph gets blocked by Kulikov. Um, then Pierre Oliver Joseph tries a wrist shot, he misses to the right. And Colin White, a former Panther, I remember Colin White, wrist shot that was saved by Robrowski. Sam Bennett with the wrist shot that was. Flat out missed to the right. Uh, Ekblad gets Ekblad gets blocked by Jansen Harkins. Ekblad with the wrist shot that was missing to the left. Forsling gets blocked by Noel Achari. Um, for another former Panther, um, uh, Chris Litang gets blocked by Lomberg. Marcus Peterson with the wrist shot that was saved by Bobrovsky. Since that hiccup goal given up by Bobrovsky, he has been. A brick wall. Bobby. And Eric Carlson gets blocked by Rodriguez. Eller with the tip in. He missed to the right. Eller again with the wrist shot. That was saved by Robrowski. Losarinen with the backhand. That was saved by Neto Govic. Uh, Losarinen hits Marcus Peterson three times. Um, Jeff Carter gets blocked by Kulikov. Drew O'Connor with the backhand that was saved by Robrovsky. Evgeny Malkin with the wrist shot he missed to the left. Aaron Nekblad with the wrist shot that was saved by Nezokovic. Eric Carlson with the wrist shot that was saved by Robrovsky. Then after that, Eric Carlson gets blocked by Verhage. Sidney Crosby with the backhand that was saved by Robrovsky. Great save there. Um, puck was frozen. Skater. Um, things were getting chirpy. 
and then Sam Bennett gets blocked by Marcus Peterson, and that ends the first period. We go to second period, uh, tied 1-1. Sorry, so not, not a bad first period. But second period, things get really ugly. I mean, really ugly. So Sidney Crosby wins the faceoff. Sam Bennett both times in a row with the wrist shot saved by Necho Kovic. Ryan Graves with the wrist shot that was saved by Robrovsky. Carver Hagen with the wrist shot that was um, that was missing to the right. Uh, or to the left, rather. I'm sorry. Jeff Carter gets blocked by Bennett. Londell gets blocked by Ryan Graves. Aaron Neckblad gets blocked by Ryan Graves again. Uh, uh, let's see. Evgeny Malkin gets blocked by Forsling. Raquel gets blocked by Eggblad. Um, Voluntary Push, uh, Pushinen, I think that's how you say it, gets blocked by his own teammate. Uh, Ryan Rusk with the wrist shot, he missed to the right. Ryan, R Ryan Graves gets blocked by his own teammate, uh, which that sucked for Pittsburgh as well. Um, and then Ryan Lomberg, or Kevin Stanley rather, gets the wrist shot in, but that was saved by Nedrakovic. And Ryan Lomberg gets hit with the interference call. Pittsburgh goes on the power play, and that penalty would be killed off. Um, Sidney Crosby with the wrist shot, he missed to the left. Aaron Eckblatt tries to do a little bit of a shorthanded opportunity. It hit the crossbar. Oh, wow. So close, Aaron Eckblatt. So close. Lars Eller with the wrist shot that was saved by Bobrovsky. Jeff Carter after that with the wrist shot that was also saved by Bobrovsky. And the penalty will be cut off there. Jake Gwinzel with the tip in that was saved by Bobrovsky. So not this time. Not this time. Well, though. <coughs> Excuse me. Then Nicola gets blocked by Carlson. Uh, Lars Eller with the wrist shot that was saved by Bobrovsky. Sidney Crosby with the backhand that was saved by Bobrovsky. And this piece of shit decided to go blindside Barkov. And Barkov got hurt. And things got extremely ugly. I mean, this piece of shit just comes in. Blindsides Barkov. He knew he was there. He knew he was there. Barkov was not aware he was coming. Bam. Bam. Oh, and before that interference happened, he trips Emma Rodriguez, so that would wind up being a double minor. I it should have been it should have been a seven minute power play. Because this, because he gets called for tripping, he would also get called for a blindside interference. That is bullshit. That they that they just allow a two minute minor off the interference. Barkov got hurt. It was Plain and stupid. Latang should have been, should have had a loop, should have had a ten minute misconduct, and that did not happen. That was bullshit. It's bullshit. He only ends up with a double minor. It's just crazy. Oh, by the way, speaking of this call, right? That will wind up being Pittsburgh's last penalty of the whole game. Nine minutes and forty-eight seconds into the second period, that's half. That's half the period. That was their final penalty, and and it gets worse. But thankfully, this happened. Brandon Montour with a slash shot that was saved by Nitrakovic. Uh Brandon Montour gets blocked by Ochari. Matthew Kachuk shot blocked by Rude Waddell. Matthew Kachuk with the wrist shot that was saved by Nedrakovic. Aaron Ekblad with the slash shot that was saved by Nedrakovic. Then Reinhardt gets blocked by Marcus Peterson, still has the puck. And, I mean, really, another power play goal, another power play opportunity. And again, Sam Reinhardt once again scoring. Snapshot assisted by Matthew Kachuk. That's his 34th assist of the season. And Oliver Ekman Larson, that's his 16th assist of the season. Off the snapshot, it's Reinhardt. 36 goals of the season. And he, and, and for what, what, what I remember, I don't know if it's true. Or uh, maybe it is true. I just miscounted. But he has 19 special teams goal or power play goals. Either way. He is still on fire. He's still getting a point streak. He's still scoring a goal. He has not missed much. 
and he is not stopping anytime soon, folks, so buckle up. Buckle up, Austin Matthews. You have a competitor um, on your way. 36th goal of the season for Reinhardt, and that's a go-ahead power play goal for Florida. Awesome stuff there. And that and that would that would conclude that power play because we scored. All right, so Pierre Oliver Joseph gets blocked by Sam Bukovic, Sam um, Sam Bukovic. There we go. And um, Lomberg with the wrist shot that was saved by Nezarkovic, and then a stupid penalty, stupid penalty by Kevin Stenlin call for a hooking on Drew O'Connor. Pittsburgh goes on the power play. Um, Nico Mikola with the with the wrist shot off the off a crossbar just missed it. I I thought initially I thought it went in. I celebrated and then I realized it didn't even go in. I was that it was that close. And then this is where I get mad. Like really mad. Bennett cross checks uh Li Tang. The same guy that hurts Barkov earlier. Bennett cross checks Letang. That is a stupid, stupid penalty. Stupid penalty. Not by Bennett, but these stupid referee decisions. That is terrible. And Bennett's complaining so much of, of, of that call. Oh, and it gets worse. He gets called for a sports for that conduct on Letang. What? What do you mean? What do you mean? So more pushing and shoving, more fighting, and it's just unbelievable. And they retaliated too. They retaliated, and they did not get called anything. Meanwhile, Bennett gets a double minor. Oh, and also the, due to the fact that Stenland's still in the penalty box, it is a five-on-three advantage for twenty seconds, twenty-two seconds rather. So that so Stenland's penalty is killed off. Then you have to deal with the double minor. And in the meantime, the double minor, Barkov, welcome back. Thank goodness he was, because he ended up, because Barkov went to the, Barkov went to, um, went to the locker room with the wrist, with, with the, with that injury that, that was suffered by, uh, Letang, that was a piece of shit move. So that, so that, what happened? So Barkov comes back with the wrist shot that was saved by Nestor Kovic. Gwensel with the tip in that was saved by Robrowski. Great, great save there. Sidney Crosby gets blocked by Forsling. Forsling just playing absolutely great hockey. He was out there for nine minutes, as far as I know, with this game in the single ship. Uh, Lars Eller with the wrist shot that was saved by Robrowski. Rickard, R Rickard uh, Raquel with the wrist shot. He missed to the left. And the puck went frozen. Goalie. And this should have been a penalty. There was a tripping on Lo Serenin. Lo Serenin got tripped. And it was right in front of the official. Right in front of him. And guess what? They didn't even call it. They let it slide. So that means it's still a it's still a couple more minutes of that double minor. And it, it, it's just ridiculous how they missed it. How do you miss that obvious tripping call is beyond me. Beyond me. So anyway, um, Malkin gets blocked by Forsling. Um, there, be, there was a hit there by uh, by Stenland to Gwenzel. Eric Carlson with the slap shot. He missed to the right. Malkin with the tip in. Um... That was a tip in that was saved by Robrowski. Ryan Russ with the slash shot that was wide to the left. Gwensel gets blocked by Mikula. Okay. Then after that, Jeff Carter with the wrist shot that was saved by Robrowski. Malkin with the wrist shot that was saved by Robrowski. And Gwensel with the slash shot that was also saved by Robrowski. And the penalty would be killed off there. Oh my goodness. Thank goodness. We can have a, we can have a nice and easy game for, for now, right? Well, I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say easy, but a little bit of breathing room, a little bit, a little bit of the breathing room, right? Right? Latang gets blocked by Lundell, and Lundell gets called for roughing on Latang. Are you kidding me? 
First off, they he initiated contact first. And Liddell ends up taking the bait. And Pittsburgh goes on yet another freaking power play. So, since that Letang uh, double minor, um, what do you call it? Four straight penalties by Florida at this point. So, during this power play, Gwinsell with the wrist shot that was saved by Robrowski, Brian Russ with the wrist shot that was also saved by Robrowski, uh, Mulkin after the faceoff win by Crosby, slash shot that was saved by Robrowski, and then it's the second period. We go to the third period now. While, while Florida is still shorthanded. So Stanley wins the faceoff against Crosby. That was nice. Brian Russ with the wrist shot. That was saved by Robrowski. Nice save there. Uh, Marcus Peterson with the wrist shot. That was that was meant with, missing to the right. The penalty will be killed off there. Um, then there will be some hits. There was an offside call. Um, then a little bit after that, Carver Hagee will try to get, will try to make it uh, three to one, uh, two times in a row. That was saved by Necho Kovic with the wrist shot. Then Ekman Larson gets blocked by Gwensel. Matthew Kachuk tries the wrist shot that was saved by Necho Kovic. Kulikov with the slash shot that was saved by Necho Kovic. Romberg with the wrist shot he missed to the right. Um, then after that, Ekman Larson with the wrist shot that was missing to the right. Rodriguez tries to make it two goals. He ends up getting he ends up getting blocked, saved by Nacho Kovic. So Rodriguez tries again. He tries a wrist shot that was missing to the left. Forsling with the wrist shot that was saved by Nacho Kovic. Then Noel Charlie with the wrist shot that was saved by uh, Bobrovsky. And Sam Bennett another freaking penalty. It seems though as every time Sam Bennett goes on ice and does the littlest things, littlest things, and I guarantee you this. If this was role reverse, if the roles were reverse, we would never have gotten anything. And we would never have gotten anything. And it did happen. Sam Bennett, another interference call. This time it was against Ricky Raquel. Terrible call. My goodness. So during this power play, Ryan Ross gets blocked by Forsling. Eric Carlson with the wrist shot that was saved by Robrowski. And that's it. Clean penalty kill by Florida. So not much hair for Pittsburgh. Jansen Harkins with the wrist shot that was saved by Robrowski. Sam Bennett with the wrist shot that was saved by Nedrakovic. Lundell with the snatch shot that was saved by Nedrakovic again. Anton Lundell with the wrist shot that was saved by Nedrakovic again. So 11 minutes, 46 into the third period, Sam Bennett with the wrist shot that was missing to the right. Verhage tries again with a tip in that was missing to the right as well. Dreamy Chukulikov gets blocked by Malkin. Eric Carlson with the wrist shot that was missing to the left as well. Gashovitz gets blocked by Letang, that piece of garbage. Drew O'Connor gets blocked by Gustav Forsling. And then another freaking penalty. Oh, and, uh, I don't know if it was this one. I think it was a little bit after that. I think it was, I think I, I think I might have skipped one. But either way, Aaron Black gets cold a hook against Noel Achari. Six freaking straight penalty against Florida. Six straight. That's eight total penalties of the game. Pittsburgh, in the meantime, trips Los Serenin. Barkov gets tripped again. Barkov's getting beaten, battered, tripped, whatever you want to call it. No freaking calls. Meanwhile, Bennett with the soft hit gets called for interference. And meanwhile, this gets called a hook on Ochari. Pathetic Refer and, and and by the way, I didn't even say this in the beginning. This is what and actually I'm glad I didn't because it leads up to this point. It seems though as we're not only dealing with the Pittsburgh Penguins, we're dealing with the with the officials too. We're dealing with two teams in the same game. It's two against one. It's literally a Pittsburgh Penguins and of NHL referees two versus one handicap game. That's what it feels like to me. So during this power play, Ryan Russ 
gets blocked by Ekman Larson. Sidney Crosby tries to get this game tying goal with the wrist shot. That was a brilliant save by Rebrowski. And Ryan Russ tries with the slash shot. That was also saved by Rebrowski. Crosby with the wrist shot. That was saved by Rebrowski. Jake Grinsell with the wrist shot. That was saved by Rebrowski. So Rebrowski, since that first goal given up, he has been a brick wall, like I said earlier. And he deserves a round of applause. So Latin gets blocked by Stenlin. And um, uh, Loris Leller. Lars Eller with the shot block uh, gets blocked by his own teammate. Mikula with the snapshot that was saved by Nedrakovic. Penalty will be killed off there. So, thank goodness the penalty kill is good tonight. So, Ryan Russ with the wrist shot misses to the right. And he tries again. He misses to the, or misses to the right. Uh, excuse me. The earlier shot he missed to the left. This one's missed to the right. Losarine with the backhand. He misses to the right. Empty net at this point. Latang with the wrist shot that was saved by Rebrowski. With 40 seconds left of the game, uh, everything is on is in balance by Rebrowski. And this happens. Assisted by Brian Russ, his 16th goal of the season, and Sidney Crosby, 22nd goal of the uh, or not goal, 22nd assist of the season off the wrist shot. It's Evgeny Malkin. I think he's also a former Panther. I have to double check. But Malkin, 16th goal of the season, that one hurts. That one really hurts, people. We had we had chances that we couldn't get in, but Nezrakovic is just a good goalie for Pittsburgh. And the referee is just absolutely trying the best to uh, have Pittsburgh stay in the game. All those penalties given up or called against Florida. And the referees got what they wanted. Pittsburgh tied it up. Now it's only a matter of time before Pittsburgh takes the win. Right? That's what the referees want anyway. Because this is not suspicious at all. Brandon Montour gets blocked by Peterson. And Montour with a snapshot that was missing to the left. Barkov wins the faceoff. Reinhardt with the wrist shot. Almost Winning the game for Florida, but that was saved by Nedrakovic. And then we go to overtime. Overtime in Pittsburgh. So we have Barkov, Reinhardt, and Kachuk, I believe. I, I, I have to double check, but I, either way. Barkov wins the faceoff against Crosby. Sam Reinhardt with a snapshot that was saved by Nedrakovic. Um, for Higgy with the wrist shot, that was also saved by Nedrakovic. Goalie stopped it there. Uh, Sam Reinhardt with Sam Bennett wins the face off. Sam Bennett, or not Bennett, Sam Reinhardt with a tip in that missed to the right. And now Pittsburgh has the possession. So a few hits there. Couldn't get <clears throat> much shooting there. Florida had the puck and tried to win it, but he couldn't get the shot off because that was poked away by Nedrakovic. And Pittsburgh, I was I, I was ready for a heartbreak, but nothing happened really. Nothing really happened. Malkin tries to backhand against Bobrovsky, and he saved it. At, literally after Pittsburgh getting blocked by their own teammates. And then, for the second time this season, we go to shootout. And I believe it's our second time this season. We don't really want to talk about what happened with that um, first shootout because that was disgraceful what they call against Rodriguez. Let's see what happens in this one. So Pittsburgh starts off. Rickard Raquel tries to wrist shot it, but that hit the right post. And it looked like it looked like he went too far right, um, too far right with the puck, and that was just a that was just a bad shot by Ricard uh, Raquel, not Ricard. Ra well, actually, yeah, Ricard Raquel. Uh, he uh, missing to the right. It hit the right post, but he. But the thing is, he was too far right, and that that didn't that didn't go anywhere. Lundell has the puck. He tries a wrist shot and try to go between the legs of Nechukovic, but that wind up being saved there. So I'm like, damn. Sidney Crosby with the with try has the puck. He wrist shots it, and I'm and it's a goal. Right? Wrong. Bobrovsky saves it. 
Blocks it away by uh, against Crosby, and we're still in this. Barkov now. It's now Barkov's turn. Barkov has the puck, getting revenge on Pittsburgh. Could he do it? Yes, he can. And this time, I'm telling you the truth. He has a goal in this shootout. It's now one nothing Florida, and we start and we started we started second, by the way. So any and, and next shot could be next block could would be a winner, or we need to walk off. Um, so Barkov takes this lead, one nothing in the shootout, and it's now in the fate of Jay, uh, Jake Gwens, uh, Gwenzel with the wrist shot. That wind up being saved, but uh, but that but it took a bad bounce off of Bobrovsky. And that goes into the back of the net. Basically like this. There's a puck. Bam. Goes up. And it and the momentum goes to the back of the net. And it's now 1-1 tied. I'm like, are you kidding me? I was jumping in frustration. Like, what the act? You could not be this unlucky in a shootout like this. You're going up against the referees. You're going up against Sidney Crosby. You're going up against uh, Brian Rust. You're going up against Gwen Sal. And now you have this bullshit where the puck just not in your favor goes everything in Pittsburgh's way. And that one goes to the back of the net. Now, Reinhardt has the puck. Oh, this game has a big fate. Everything on the line from this shot by Ryan, uh, not Ryan, Sam Reinhardt, he wrist shots, and it goes by Nechikovic, and it's a goal. That is your hockey game, everybody. Reinhardt wins this one, 2-1 in the shootout. We have taken this lead, and ultimately that is a walk-off shot. We have won this game 3-2 against Pittsburgh Penguins, and I made sure that I checked this. A uh, few times through the course of three hours and make sure they did not change anything. It's still 3-2 Florida, and that is official. Florida went somehow, some way, wins this one 3-2 against the Pittsburgh Penguins and the NHL referees. When we look at the team stats, Pittsburgh obviously had more shots. They had more hits, including some of the dirty ones against Barkov, and some of the tripping that they that they didn't get called for, like Los Rain and Barkov. Um, uh, 40, 40 face-off wins, 55.6, while Florida had only had 32. Um, power play opportunities, eight, sh eight penalties were called against Florida. Pittsburgh had eight power play opportunities and only and only got one. And that was that Gwen Sal goal. Meanwhile, Florida had three power play opportunities, and they got both of them in. They got both of them in. No shorthanded goals. Pittsburgh should have had f four or five penalties. Florida should not have eight. It, 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 at least they could have had five or six. Because couple, because couple of penalties, you can make the case. But everything else, no, it was a bad call, and I, I just can't believe Pittsburgh got away with it. Anyway, uh, total penalties: Florida eight, Pittsburgh three. Sixteen total penalty minutes on Florida. We had two more block shots than they did. They had more takeaways than we did. We and. 16 shots or 16 giveaways Pittsburgh had. So when you look at the team stats, it really, it really, right, really, if it wasn't for the fact that we had a we had a break in the shootout, Pittsburgh deserved to win this game. Well, that's what the team stat is saying, at least. Pittsburgh deserved to win this game according to the team stats. One. It's because because of the officiating that's been so brutal and that and that dirty hit with um, that dirty hit against Barkov in the second period, uh, you know, with Letang. I feel like since then the referees have lost total control in this game. Bitching, complaining, whining by the fans, bitching, whining, complaining by the Pittsburgh announcers. They were bitching. They were crying. They were whining about this, and and the referees just absolutely. They were influenced by it. It just feels like they were influenced by it, and that were and that's what really changed the game. 
So yes, judging by the team stats, they should have won this game, right? One reason only, um, not only with Reinhardt um, stepping up once again, but Bobrovsky is a brick wall. And that's why I'm wearing his jersey. <coughs> Despite everything that happened in this game, Pittsburgh Penguins tried to cheat. They had the officials on their side. Um, Bobrovsky remained a brick wall against Pittsburgh. None of it worked. And it, and it was tough. It was tough, but we got it done. Stars of the game, Reinhardt with one star with one goal. Two stars, Sergei Bobrovsky with 35 saves. 946 save percentage. And they give three stars to Gaddy Malkin. I mean, whatever. It is what it is. We got the win. Um, I'm not sure we... I'm not sure we got points. I'm not sure how the shootout thing works. So, um, let's check right here. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think we did. I'm not sure how it works. But anyway, guys, there you go. Sorry to keep you up this late and watching this over 30 minutes of this content. But if you stay, stick around this long, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, what are your thoughts on the game, really? Hit the like button and subscribe for more content because Miami TV has it back. And when he does, he'll be right there with the entertainment you deserve. Florida Panthers go back again tomorrow against the New York Islanders in Long Island at UBS Arena. Um, and then, yeah, folks, uh, they have a back-to-back, -back and then they are they are done for a couple of weeks, for like a week or so. Um, or a couple of weeks, rather, because of the All-Star break. And we'll take a break of hockey, which we'll miss pretty, pretty good. But anyway, guys, there you go. That's going to do it. I'll see you guys tomorrow with the busy day. And yeah, folks, this is my YouTube G, and I'll see you guys next time. Good night, everybody, for real. And go Cats.